Alright guys, Coach Malik here, and in this video, we are going to unveil how I make the infamous tuna melt. Stay tuned. So first, you gotta get the right ingredients, obviously the tuna, which I use chicken in the sea with water. We use some jalapenos, mayo. I use a little bit of mustard. A little mustard, I gotta figure out which one is open. And can't forget the cheese for the tuna melt. We are using Tillamook medium cheddar cheese. Can't forget the butter. We are using, for butter actually, this is interesting, we are using Kirkland Signature, but it is a uh, product of New Zealand, grass-fed butter. Was not sure about this, but it's a Costco brand, so of course, always trust in Costco. And it was a good, it has a, it has a certain flavor to it. Some are gonna like it and some are not, but try it out. We're using a little skillet. If that's, I think that's what it's called, the skillet. We're gonna put that on high. And we are going to get some butter, get some butter on the pan. And I'm actually doing this right before work. I should be at work at 3.30. This is why I'm late to most of my things. I'm going to try to keep the camera just rolling, try to talk during the boring parts. Right now we're just waiting for the butter to melt. <clears throat> As we get the butter to melt, we'll get out the sourdough because you always got to have sourdough for your tuna melts. And I don't think I'm forgetting anything. So as that's melting, I'll get two pieces of bread out. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna put some butter. Now you can do this two ways. You can butter the pan, put the bread on top, or you can butter the bread itself and then put it on the pan. That is hard to get out right now. I just worked out, so my blood's flowing. As you guys can see, I'm talking fast. I'm also in a rush to get to work. But I gotta get this video out because I think these tuna melts are getting better and better. They're getting better and better, better and better, better and better. And I think. Why not share the information to the people? So we're putting a little bit more butter because it wasn't enough. As that's going, I'm gonna get a bowl for my tuna mix. And for my tuna mix, I use a can of, this. now this is seven ounces. Sometimes I use two five ounces, which is 10 ounces, but I don't want 14 ounces. 14 is a little bit too much, you know what I'm saying? So we're getting seven ounces right here. I use only 12 seconds, water out the water. Six seconds, one side. Six seconds, the other side, shake, shake. Get a spoon, put the tuna in, and usually what I do is one can of a five ouncer. I'll do one spoon of mayonnaise. So this is one and a half cans. So I'll do one and a half spoons of mayonnaise. So the butter's going. I'm gonna put one on there, or spread it out a little bit. Again, you can put on the butter beforehand if you want. Um, I'm just gonna put the cheese on there as well. See, I'm in a rush. Maybe you want to do this a little bit more, you know, organized. But I am in a rush, so we're just going to slap some cheese on there. We're just, oh, this is a heavy one. Oof, this is going to be a heavy tuna melt. I'm just going to do one side today. 307, so one side. Sometimes I'll do both sides, but I'm not doing both sides today. So I'll put the cheese away. That's another way to balance out your calories just to like me one day you know to put a little less cheese on or a little less butter oh it's gonna be a little more butter not too much not too much come on come on so as that's going we're gonna go spoon with the mayonnaise so we want to have spoons that's going I always try to make sure it's not burning it's not burning it's good keep it on a medium heat I'm going a little bit more that's gonna go about eyesight that was like two spoons two tablespoons it is a teaspoon, I don't fucking know. Going by that. So first I do the mayo and the mustard just to see what my consistency is like. That's important for the tuna melt. Some people like it dry, some people like it a little bit more consistent, some people like more mayonnaise, some people like more mustard. You know, my brother likes a little bit more mustard, I'm a little bit more mayo guy. So it all depends on what you like. Yay! Don't burn yourself. Oh my god, that hurt. So that side of So this is gonna need a little bit more mayonnaise. Again, I'm a mayonnaise person, so maybe it's good for most people, but I think I need a little more mayonnaise. So we go there. Now what I add to my tuna as seasoning is pappies. 
Shake a little of that in there. If you want to put a little, if you guys have salt, pepper, you know, garlic powder, whatever you guys want to season on there. Put that in there. And then this is usually, you know, all you really need for a good tuna mix. Now that extra stuff, you know, I hear some, I've been posting this, some people say pickles is a good addition. I myself add some jalapenos, jalapenos. Um, love my jalapenos and some onions. So I'll chop those up, make sure this isn't burned. And that is perfect. So I'll grab a plate, we'll grab a spatula. And this cheese actually isn't really that melted, so what I'm going to do is butter up the pot. I'm gonna butter up the pot, and I'll put this cheese on this. So this is the opposite side. I'd never done that before, but that was just a little, it wasn't melted yet. Always gonna have the tuna melt cheese melted. You know what I'm saying? So we got that there. I'm gonna taste this to see about the seasoning. Perfect. So now, where the extra flavor comes in, the jalapenos and the onion. So we're gonna chop. Well, this is how I chop the onions. This is a smaller onion. I don't save my onions that much. Um, this part I'll probably fast forward. So now that was a little sloppy mix, but the bread is about to burn, and so I don't want that to happen, and the cheese is starting to melt. So I'm just throwing the tuna on, also so that I can get warm. Because the tuna has to get warm too, you know? Looks. We got time, let's go. So I like when it's a little toasty on the box. So now I'll clean up. And that, my friends, is how you make the tuna melt. I'm gonna clean up. We're gonna put the edge on, the second edge. And my alarm is about to go off on my phone to go in the shower it's because we always put our alarms on stuff that we care about on our houses, alarm on our car, put alarms on our cards so we don't have like fraud. We don't put alarms on our attention, the most valuable asset. So if you guys gotta do something, just put an alarm. You know, if you gotta go to sleep, put a little, uh, instead of alarm, wake up, put alarm to go to sleep. I'm putting alarm to go take a shower. I'm putting alarm to go get lunch. You know, I'm putting, putting alarm to go write music, putting alarm to go work out. There's always alarms in my phone going off. You're about to hear one. Um, here we go. That is looking good. I'm just gonna toast this one a little bit more because it was, oh my God, guys, this is gonna be amazing. I'm gonna move you actually so you can see it better. Brother, if you're watching this, I hope you are. I hope you are made on pressed, but I hope you are happy because this is probably one of my best. It's not too bad. You got that side toasted good. Got that side toasted good. Get a crunch on the cut. And the cheese. Wow. That is a tuna melt, guys. Now let's do the taste test. That's obviously important. All right, guys, here we go. Sandwich review time. You guys love these sandwich reviews, so I made a tuna melt, and we're gonna do a sandwich review of the homemade tuna melt. As you guys know, how we judge bread. It's got the crunch. Now, if I'm being non-egotistical, it could be a little bit more crunchy, but, it is a sourdough, so it's kind of hard to miss on these. Yeah, a little more crunchy, but overall, seven out of 10. Then you have the tuna. Could use a little bit more mayo. Again, I'm more of a mayo guy. Jalapenos, vegetables are awesome in there. The onions taste very good. Those will have to be the thing that takes this up a notch a little bit because the bread I was expecting a little bit more not bad though the tuna not bad it could use a little bit more something you know a little more maybe flavor a little more I don't know some I'm getting a little rusty with these breaking the rust off because we are done with the cut and now we're coming in bulk and these sandwich views are coming back so homemade tuna review The tuna melt. 
Woo! 7 2. 7 2 because I can see myself eating these for a good 12 times. And after 12 times, you ever want to eat one again? But maybe because the tuna is just something. There's something with the tuna. It's something. I just don't know what the something is. If you guys have a little secret tip for tunas, let me know in the comments down below. Or if you guys have a place that you guys want me to get a tuna melt at, let me know down below. Or a sandwich, let me know down below. Guys, thanks for watching, and I'll see you next sandwich review.